the excavator main pump has two regulators, which are installed on P1 pump and P2 pump respectively. The two regulators are the same. The function of the regulator is to change the output power of the main pump and the flow of hydraulic oil by adjusting the angle of the swash plate of the main pump. The driving force of the fork of the regulator is the pressure of the hydraulic oil. The pressure of hydraulic oil will act on the driving mechanism of the regulator through two low-pressure oil pipes according to the movement of the main valve rod so as to change the angle of the swash plate. We remove the regulator from the main pump. This is the shift fork of the regulator which drives the driving mechanism of the swash plate of the main pump to change the angle of the swash plate so as to change the output power and the flow of the main pump. The driving mechanism of the swash plate is actually a servo piston. There are two limit bolts on both sides of the piston to adjust the maximal and the minimal servo stroke so as to control the maximal and the minimal flow of the main pump. However, in the actual maintenance work, we don't need to adjust the stroke of the servo piston. We need to test whether the movement of the shift fork is flexible and whether the return of the shift fork is smooth by hand. If the fork of one of the regulator is stuck, the two traveling motors of the excavator will have different speeds, also known as running deviation or the speed of left and right rotation is different. Or the action of bucket is very slow, but the action of bucket rod is normal. This is an adjusting device, which is composed of large and small adjusting screws, large and small springs, spring seat, and side cover. I'd like to remind you not to adjust the regulator casually. When the working speed of your old excavator is reduced obviously, you need to confirm whether the working pressure of the excavator is normal first. Because the pressure and the flow of hydraulic oil are different concepts, the reduction of working system pressure will also reduce the working speed of the excavator. When you have to adjust the regulator to increase the output power of the main pump, please loosen the fixing nut. Turn the adjusting bolt for 45 degrees clockwise with a spanner, and then test the working speed of the excavator. If you feel that the working speed is normal and the power of the engine does not decrease when the excavator is loaded, please tighten the fixing nut. Remember that the regulator can only be adjusted slightly. When we are ready to install the regulator, in order to install it correctly, please move the drive mechanism to the middle of the installation port and make a mark on the pump housing. Hold the fork in the middle position by hand and install the regulator at the same time. Use a flat tool, such as a steel ruler, to test on the left and the right of the shaft fork to confirm that the shaft fork has been embedded into the locating pin of the drive mechanism. Tighten the fixing bolts of the regulator to complete the installation of the regulator.